doing so you, as you guys know i was in swaziland and um i collected some my mom has these trunks that she's had for like years and years and years and years and years and years and um for a long time that's why actually i also don't buy a lot of clothes because a lot of the clothes that i've worn through my teens and up to now are from my mom's trunk and basically i used to go there like Particularly in my teens and my early 20s, like once a year, I'd go through the trunks, get clothes, and those would be like the basics, and they would carry me through like that year. And then I would just buy like accessories and like funky tops and things like that just to build on. But my basics generally used to come from my mom's trunk. So when I was in Swaziland, I collected some and I was like, yay, let me get some clothes. And I just wanted to show you guys some of the pieces that I got from there and yeah i <laughs> um it is a bit bittersweet this is the first time i've gone through the trunk without her there and telling me stories of like you know like when i took out something she would tell me the story of that skirt or those pants or that dress and be like oh i wore this here and like you know it was a really really lovely sort of like bonding get to know my mother when she was younger moment every time we open those trunks and yeah she placed a whole lot of value on those clothes um they held a lot of memories for her and similarly for me they have been a big part of you know of us just chilling together like our like sort of mummy daughter time a lot of that has happened around those trunks like regular sort of interactions so yeah i'm gonna show you what i picked up this time these are I know some people might be a bit like why did you take the clothes you know your mother just passed away you might still be in mourning and all of those things but um, I don't consider these to be like my mother's clothes that she was wearing now like these are not sort of like her recent clothes and things like that most of these clothes are over 20 30 years old so yeah you're gonna see them and let me show you is lovely it has a button detail but I didn't tie it up So the pocket, the button comes here, there's a pocket, we love skirts with pockets, same thing, just a little Bluetooth moment, you know, because skin cover, skin <laughs> cover is here, but we can show a little bit of skin up in here, and then pocket, I mean, Like this is such a winter outfit, like a South African winter Frankie outfit, like it's warm but cold, you know, you can get like a little jersey vibe that like sits here with long sleeves, still be cute for South African winters, although South African winters have become very cold of late, and that's the back, so yeah, my mom used to also sell clothes and so on, she had a clothing shop at one stage, so she used to import clothes and stuff. So some of the clothes are clothes that she has owned and some of the clothes are clothes that um, she used to sell at the shop. Like this is still clothes that she used to sell at the shop. This is like pure corduroy. This is corduroy, corduroy, heavy, 
heavy heavy corduroy so yeah love it like it just cinches gives a nice little skinny waist moment just lovely lovely this is the plan gorgeous so skirt comes with these pleats um it's got a side pocket and then With these goods. And yeah, love, love, love it. mom wore it, I think my sister wore it, I'm not sure, this skirt has been worn quite a lot, it's literally like sort of on its last legs, whereas the other clothes I've shown you were like brand new, anyway this is 100% cotton, but this like skirt, one of my favourite things about it, is this embroidery on it, it's just a plain white wrap around skirt, I absolutely love this skirt, it's the it's the details for me. <laughs> it's the details. Like look at this embroidery. Like here. Like I mean hold on. Oh, my battery's dying. So look. We'll flash you. Okay. So this shirt used to be my mom's. Um she's worn it a lot of times. I remember this shirt from her. It's got a little tie detail down here, and then you just tie it up, you know, just a little thing, which is really lovely because it gives you a little tuck there. It's got balloon sleeves, and then it like tapers in here. Just a really lovely, like, um, structured. I mean, it's a blouse, right? But it's quite a structured blouse. Very, very structured, because even the collar, see, it's like a really structured blouse, even though it's, yet it's still like flowy and, or like very like, which I really love. Well, I mean, I live at the beach, guys. <laughs> I live at the beach, so um, this is a tight but cute, cute wherever. It's a bit tight, but it's cute. So that's what it looks like, you know. Um, And I got a few jackets. She maybe I'll change the bottom so you can see the jackets properly. But basically a little beach wear, a little hot summer day vibes again, a little bag. It's a vibe, it's a cute moment, it's a it's a look. Okay, it's a look. It's just like, oh I'm just going to the shops quickly. not at my waist it's like at my rib cage so it makes it a little bit harder to cinch in but where in the weather is a wheel there is a way just one cinch and it's in it's not too tight 
it's not too you can still breathe and it just looks like that which i absolutely love i might do like an up collar moment which i think works better for this jacket and just like what do you guys think i definitely think an up collar moment works better for this jacket and then like a slightly military type jacket that's how I imagined it anyway in my head when I saw it it wasn't sitting properly it's got this stitch detail detailing also if you look at it the jacket comes in like very angular it's not a very it's not a very like sharp angles it's very round which works for my body frame a little bit better so um, it's a lot more open here which balances out my shoulders i find that when the jacket like sits like this it weighs heavier on my shoulders versus when it sits like a little bit like wider so again a cinch at the waist like it's not a boxy jacket it's like quite a feminine jacket it's got a flap here in the center nice and long <laughs> just yeah the, the collar sits wide sits far away from my thing it doesn't sit here because I've got very weak shoulders like I don't have shoulders that can carry like shoulder pads and those kinds of things so this is the kind of jacket that works better for me velvet moment I like velvet jacket which I don't know if you'll even be able to see any of the detailing also cinches in at the waist do you see like there's a there it's not a straight down also you'll notice all the jackets that i've picked they come in like at a at a beautiful sort of like they come in and then they go out to create a beautiful like wave Black velvet pants. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I don't think I don't think that you are. But you are. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. I hate to say it, but I I mean Another little summer moment. Just, I mean, 
what can I say? It's happy, it's bright, it's it's our thigh. It's our thigh. Our thigh. Our thigh. Our thigh. Our thigh. <laughs> Little side thing. The buttons start here at the center, but they make their way up to the side. Which is a lovely little structural detail that I absolutely just love. And a nice little groove situation here. Right? 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 <laughs> being a madam and I'm like madam Gabby madam Gabby madam Gabby <laughs> this is beautiful this is stunning it's so simple but so stunning it's like all in the fabric it's just it's just all the details of the fabric the pattern of the fabric the coloring this gold and like olive green it's just beautiful I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Ah! When I said you were not ready for this dress, I meant it. You were never ready for this one. I mean, come on. Look at that! Look at that! Look at it! Look at it! So this whole piece is like a flap and you just, I mean look. You were never ready! La -la 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 -la. And it's floor length. Okay, well, not floor length for me, but it's like by ankle length, like just below my ankles. So, I mean, come on, look at this detail. Look at it. Look. You are never ready. It's a coat dress, actually. So you can use it as a coat, you can wear it as a dress. It's a three piece, this did. I also had a shirt and it had um, a skirt, but I took this that my sister used to wear already. And just like, because I plan on wearing it as a coat more than anything else. So, but it has buttons going all the way down to, so it's up to you how you want to wear it. Look at that, it's pretty. I like the little sparkles in there. This is soft, this is very soft. So it's just a normal v neck top. Um, got some junk on the truck. 
anyway and this skirt also comes from there oh god i'm not wearing a bra but it's um it's this crochet top just a simple crochet top that's like um yeah i think it'll go well with jeans i think it'll go well with jeans let me show you the back details so because it looks exactly the same in front so this is what it looks like love love love, love. i think with a like a simple pair of jeans would look really 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 nice so. all right guys i hope guys you've enjoyed my walk down memory lane it it wasn't much it was really nice like it felt nice to like have like a little princess dress up moment um yeah and the clothes bring up like a lot of memories obviously but i hope you enjoyed it i'm very happy to be updating my wardrobe a little bit and just adding a few pieces that i can carry me through the rest of the year and then probably the next two years because i don't think i'll go through the trunks again next year so the clothes that i've picked will sort of carry me through like the next two years or so and yeah thank you so much for joining me on this video and i'll see you gapsters again in the next one bye gapsters